Well, there's fish right there on that outside. All right. Oh, don't get in those other lines. He is. All right, come under. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm in the other line. Gonna have a mess, but it's all right. I'll take a mess. Yeah, that's a good little fish there. Very good. All right, not too bad a mess. Good morning, folks. It's May 28th. 2023 Memorial Day weekend. Thanks to all the veterans. We appreciate the service. That's a nice fish. Going to do a little long lining today, folks. Just, I came up in the palmy arm of uh, Truman Lake. Haven't been up here in, I don't know, 30 years probably. But uh, I used to come up here and pull some crankbaits. I thought, well, I'll come up here and do a little long lining today. It is beautiful. Started out 55 degrees, supposed to get up to 70. Light, variable winds. Couldn't ask for a better day. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. I'll tell you, I started out in the back of this little creek arm in about nine feet of water. And I haven't had a bite. I've been trolling about 15 minutes. I haven't had a bite. I got out here 20 feet deep and I'm starting to see some fish on the graph. So maybe we'll start picking some up. Show you what I caught that one on. That's uh, on a thin spin jig head. It's got a little underspin on it. That's a slab curly bait. They call that mermaid color. Um, it's got, uh, it's flared out as that goes through the water. It's got some good action to it. I just got these. I've, I have not had much experience with them. But I've been seeing people catch a lot of fish on them, so I thought I'd give it a try, and sure enough, that's the one that caught it. I'm running a quarter ounce of weight on each rod. Either I've got two one-eighth ounce jigs to make a total of a quarter, obviously, like on this one, or I've got just a single quarter ounce jig head. I'm running 1.2 miles an hour, which should make these baits run right at 10 feet deep. I've got six pound canine line, I'm running, uh, uh, these rods are B&M Bucks Ultimate Super Stiff Rods. I like them for trolling, long lining. You've seen the other videos where I've used these. These are great rods for this. Uh, they're eight feet long. And uh, that's my setup. Six pound line, high vis so I can see it. 1.2 right now, according to ba Brad Chappell's uh, dive chart that he's done. He's the guru of long lining. Look him up online, it's got some good videos. Um, and I know for a fact I started in nine feet of water. At one point two, these jigs were just bouncing the bottom. When I got to about 10 feet, they quit. So they're running right there, nine, 10 feet deep. Um, if I slow down, I can run them deeper. If I speed up, I can run them shallower. So let's get back out and see if we can catch another fish. That one like the old mermaid. See if we can find another one. Running five rods. I usually run six. I broke the tip off of one. <laughs> Stupidity on my part. I'm gonna have to get some more. When I first came in here, I laid down a track on my iPilot. So I've got it just automatically following this track back out. Not having to worry about running into the bank or whatever it's just driving for me okay folks i made a little move uh, i caught one fish on that last track i don't know not very good i've come way back in the back of another little creek arm and uh, set a trail in here or a track in here see if we can catch one in here 
Okay, and before everybody starts accusing me of breaking the law, fishing too many rods in Missouri, I've got my name on each rod. I've got my name and conservation number. And so if, you, if you're fishing with more than three rods, you gotta have them labeled. And I have them labeled, so I'm legal. I've got a video on that too called Labeling Your Rods, or something like that. Okay, come on, fishes. Or is that a? Oh, I think it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Feels pretty good. Yeah, it's crappie. Got her up skiing. A little white crappie. That came on the old quarter ounce fin span with a uh, Bobby Garland slab slayer orange and chartreuse plastic. Good fish. I think it is. Yes, it is. Come on, baby. Pulling a little drag, got him skiing. Got him skiing. Oh, oh no, I got that other rod. I started to say I'm getting another bite, and I crossed it. Come up here, buddy. That's a pretty good fish. A white crappie. That's on the old uh, fin spin. That's a crappie magnet. Slab curly. I don't know what color they call that. That's sort of purple and got a pink tail. It works. It works. See how long this fish is. Oh, 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 baby. Hang on now. Hang on now. That fish is just over 12 inches long. Nice crappie. All right, let's get it back out there. Just a quarter ounce head on that single, single jig on this rod. All right, here's the package that bait came from: crappie magnet, slab curly, midnight pink. That's what they call that. Crappie like it. Okay, folks, we've made another move. I laid down another track going around this big island in about 15 feet of water. Gonna run these baits. They should be running, like say, about 10 foot deep. I've been seeing some fish on the screen. We'll see what happens. I 
I'm just casting them out about as far as I can cast them. Like I always do, throw to the inside first and then just throw to the outside. Keeps them from tangling. Laying the one on the far sides out flat, 90 degrees to the boat. All right, we're ready. Come on, fish. Do your thing. Get a little shade going here. Old sun's getting up overhead. Cameras are getting hot. I'm getting hot, but that's better. Fish, yep, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where are we? We're right at 15 feet of water. There's a bunch of little stumps down here on the bottom. Some fish hanging on those stumps. Well, little bitty fish. That's on the one eighth ounce Grenada Lake tackle, orange. And that's that uh, blue ice color. Bobby Garland, plastic, that fish is too little, but I appreciate him coming along, and so as always, I'm gonna, that was on the inside rod, I'm going to cast it to the outside, pass the one that's on the outside, switch the outside to the inside, and we're good to go. Oh, there's fish out here. one we just caught that last little one on I said that bait color wrong that last fish came on a love bug color one of my favorites I think I called it blue ice but I was wrong love bug oh got one there too on that side that one's on the purple and chartreuse what do we have here another fish come up yeah there you go well these fish are certainly not monsters over here but at least there's a few bites now yeah. oh that's on that midnight pink, which is sort of purple and pink. Kind of liking that purple color in there, I think. There we go. this one here yeah chartreuse and sort of purple color 
old Grenada Lake tackle head with a little underspin. There's one out here. Oh, is it hung up or is it a fish? I think it's a fish. Yes, yes. Oh, it's got some pull to it, whatever it is. Come up, yeah. It's a crappie. Yes, sir. Pretty good little fish right there. It's on that uh, midnight pink again. Tell you what, they've liked that. Caught uh, a number of them on that. A little orange one eighth or one quarter ounce head. I like it. Oh, we got one out here. If I was going to be out here for a while, I'd put some more of that color on, but I'm not going to be here much longer. It's going to be a short morning. Get the old hot one back out. They like the old midnight pink. I like them to like the old midnight pink. Go, there we go, there we go. And different color. Yep, come up there, baby. Time to go for a ski. Ski right on in here. Yep. It's on the thin span, or fin span. I keep calling it thin span. Orange head. Sort of a purple and chartreuse, lighter purple color. They like that. There we go. Oh, it splashed me right in the eyeball too. That was a quitter. Hit it and quit. We hate a quitter. Here we go. Come on now, I gotta move these over. You all gonna hit it or play with it? That's a fish. That's a fish. Yep. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. 15 feet of water. Uh-oh, got one hung up there. Gonna break that rod. Oh, there's the drag kicking in. Guess what? That's on that midnight sink. Get hung up on. I wonder. Uh -oh. Did I get it loose? Or did I break one of my two jigs off? A lot of times you run that double jig rig, you get hung up, it'll be the bottom one and it'll break off and you'll save the top one. I think that's. No, I didn't save anything. 
on that one. Not a thing. All right, this little black crappie here. On the midnight pink. It's a good color. Little black crappie. I'm not going to be here very long. I'm not going to retie this one. We'll just fish with four rods. Pleasure boaters are coming out. Tubers, time to go to the house. I think I'll make a big sweeping turn. Go back through that area we were just in. There's fish. Got right back on her track. Oh, come on. There's one there too. Oh, one of them got away. One of them didn't. Yep, come on, baby. I love catching these fish like this. Trolling, jigs, crankbaits. It's a fun way to fish. Yep, <laughs> man, that same bait, I mean, that's a crappie magnet. They call it midnight pink, plastic body, and it's that uh, thin spin head, quarter ounce orange. Boy, that seems to be the ticket on this lake on this particular day, at this particular time. These aren't huge fish, but that fish is that fish is ten and a half inches long. They are sure fun to catch and good eating fish. Yes, sir. If I was going to be fishing for longer, I'd have a midnight pink on every rod. Get it back out there for what little time we got left. There he is, there he is. Is he gonna stay on there this time? Yeah, midnight pink. You know, it's funny you go out on a trip and at that given time, on that given day, at that given place, one color will seem to just really dominate. I don't know what that is. And then you come back and it'll be a different color, or every color, or no color. But it's strange at times how they'll just key on one color, one bait. Today, at this spot, they're liking this one. Another nice little fish. Oop, I had a bite there. I bet if that had been a midnight pink, he'd be on there. I need to go, and I just hate to. I love this. One little stretch right through here, about 15 feet, and there's some stumps down there. There's been more fish in that one little stretch right there than there has been everywhere I've been this morning. I could probably just turn around, keep going this little stretch, probably, I don't know, 500 yards long and just keep picking them up. Tell you what, I just can't quit. I'm addicted. I can't help it. It's a sickness. I'm afflicted. I'm going to get some midnight pink and put them on there. I got to make one more pass through there with a bunch of midnight pink. <clears throat> we'll just keep going on our track till I get them all bait it out and then I'm going to turn around and make one more pass. Never say one more. Here's the package for the bait, uh, the jig I'm using. Like I say, it's just a spin, fin spin. These are one quarter ounce. This one's going to be pink.
Although the one I've been catching them on is orange. We'll see if a pink head can catch them like an orange head. Just tie that on with a little loop knot. It's gonna run a single jig head because it's a quarter ounce weight. Put the old midnight pink. Yes, sir. I'll leave it out until I get. Whoa, whoa, there's fish. What? Will something other than midnight pink catch one? Yes, sir. Tell you, that's that orange head again, and that I don't know is that lavender and chartreuse? I don't know what color you call that. I know what color it's going to be when I turn around. Another one. I have to go to the store and get me some more of these midnight pink. I'm gonna have them all on my rods. And I'm gonna go through a tree and lose them all. Okay, folks, I am midnight pink rich now. I'm gonna turn around, go back through that stretch, see what happens. All right. I'm ready for the slaughter fest. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We're in the hot zone. Picked one up. Oh, got one out here too. Got two on. That's a crappie. Boy, this little spot right here, I don't know. Now I got a boat wanting to come troll right up behind me. All right, got that one. Let's see about this one. Yeah. Oh, that one's pulling some drag. Go around. Yeah, it's a nice little fish. All right, yeah. Hey, that one's on the pink head. The pink works too. <laughs> I don't know, check this out. They want to come right up behind me. I got baits out there. I've got baits out there. I got baits out behind me here. Cut right across my baits.
I'm telling you that one little spot right there, there's some fish in there every time I go through there. Man, do I turn around and go again? <laughs> or do I not? Um, 24 feet to the end of my trail. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to start the big motor, make a big turn, do it one more time. Sickness, I'm telling you, it's the sickness. Don't ever go fishing. How are my baits doing? Oh, look here. Do I have one on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just getting started. It's a sickness. I'm glad I'm afflicted. Oh. oh man, that hurt. That took the old shin out. That one's kind of small. Let's see. Nope nine inches but just barely okay what a mess I messed around got some baits hung up gonna make that run one more time with just three rods and then I promise that's it I'm quitting I gotta go it's five minutes till noon I need to be home my wife misses me so bad I gotta get there She'll be pacing the floor, wondering, where am I? Worried sick. It's just so hard to quit. All right, come on, baby. Oh, look at there. I need one fish for a lemon. Oh, we're in the hot spot. I just started to say I'm falling over my coffee cup. I'm going to kill myself before the day's over. It's long lining. It's dangerous business. There she is. Oh, fight, yeah. Oh yeah, a little black crappie, they fight good. That's the limit there, folks. It is 11.59. I think I got started about 7.30 or eight o'clock or so, and it's been, been slow. Started out slow here at the end. We've picked up a few. Developed a little pattern, found a little spot, discovered the right color. There we go. I'll be here. Picked that up just as one hit it. Thought I felt it. Still in the zone. In the zone. <laughs> Other little keeper, but I got a limit, so it's his lucky day. He's going back. All right, I got to quit, even though I'm right here. Oh, waves are getting bad. Got to go another hundred yards. <laughs> oh, so much fun. So much fun. When they're on, folks, this long lining is a lot of fun. It's like that crankbaiting. It's so good. It's a great way to teach kids to fish and get them interested in it. 
bring them out here, put some rods out, let them sit back, play around the boat, you get a fish on, let them reel it in. I mean, it, it's, it's great. It's perfect for family time. And it sure is a lot of fun when I'm out here by myself too. Haven't even turned on the live scope today. Okay, I am going to go now. Have to. Got a limit. So much fun. Thanks for being with me today. Like I say Memorial Day weekend. The pleasure boaters going to be coming out, but it's it's great on Truman, and uh, what fun it is to catch them this way. Again, thanks to all the veterans. We appreciate your service. All those who have fought and died, and all those who have fought and survived. We appreciate you all, and. Uh, I appreciate you for watching my videos and if you like them I hope you'll hit the like button the subscribe it really helps out the channel and I'll be doing more of them and I can tell you I'm gonna be doing some more long lining I've had a good time today thanks for being with me